Welcome to another edition of the Aggie Sports Report. I'm your host, Misha Caldwell. The Aggies had their last home football game of the season against Morgan State this past Saturday. This was also Senior Day and Military Appreciation Day. We commemorate our troops for everything that they do. Travana Williams has, tells us how a and did for their last home game of the season. The Aggies took to the field one last time this season on Senior Day against Morgan State, where it was also Military Appreciation Day. Both teams came into the game with only one conference loss. It was a slow start on both sides of the field, but the spark from a and came from quarterback Kashawn Quick, who threw a career high of 294 yards and four touchdowns. Kashawn made this 42-yard pass to Xavier Griffin, who put the Aggies in field goal range. Morgan State's defense held the Aggies down and had to settle for a field goal to put the Aggies on the board three to nothing. The Bears looked to answer back, but with an interception by Devontae Grant, who had two interceptions on the day, their chances seemed slim. The next possession gave the Aggies a first down on the 16-yard line and resulted in a 16-yard touchdown by Tyreek Cohen. A&T took complete control over the game, keeping Morgan State from scoring and continued to result off of Morgan State's mistakes. It was all Aggie's second half, which came with touchdowns from Marquel Cartwright and Xavier Griffin, giving a and the final score of 45 to nothing. And this was the first a and blowout since they played North Carolina Central back in 2013. With today's win over Morgan State, the Aggies improved their record to an amazing 8-2, placing them second in the MEAC. And with this being their last home game of the season, the Aggies look to win their last two road games against Savannah State and, you guessed it, North Carolina Central. For the Aggie Sports Report, I'm Travana Williams. The Aggies are 8-2 and, and look to end out the season to be MEAC champions. They will hit the road for the last two games against Savannah State and rivals North Carolina Central. a and volleyball team defeated South Carolina State in their final game of the season. Alexis Wainwright has the story. With Gina Daniels being the only senior, she made her a final appearance as the Aggies closed the regular season. Ante dominated the first set and posted a 16-7 lead and continued to cruise by the Bulldogs to take the first set. Junior Alina McDaniel paced A&T with a team high of 12 kills and 11 digs. South Carolina State University led 12-8 and stretched their advantage to a 19-12 before winning the set to tie the match. The Aggies had no problem taking a 2-1 lead over the Bulldogs in the third set as they jumped ahead 14-5 and remained ahead to claim the set. Freshman Samara Brown finished with 13 assists and 10 digs. The fourth set began with both teams coming out strong. They find themselves tied at 9. Ant broke loose to an 11-4 run to take the 2014 lead. With the Aggies up 22-15, the Bulldogs scored five straight points to cut Ante's edge to 22-20. With two more points scored, the Aggies beat the Bulldogs 3-1. After tonight's win against South Carolina State, the Aggies closed their final home game with an overall record of 6-21. For Aggie Sports Report, I'm Alexis Wainwright. Thanks, Alexis. The ladies will head to Baltimore, Maryland, November 20th to compete in the MEAC tournament. We've got to take a quick timeout. Coming up next, we shine light on the only senior on the volleyball team. And it's about that time to take the ball to Corbett. We'll be right back. This is an A&T Historical Minute and I am William Robson. The Corbett Sports Center opened December 3rd, 1978. It is named after LSF Corbett, a 1931 graduate of A&T. Officially known as Mr. A&T, his official title was Sports Information Director. He performed many other roles on campus, including dorm counselor, and he was a member of the board in control of intercollegiate athletics. The three-story complex includes office space, classrooms, and two racquetball courts, in addition to an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Corbett also houses many of the human performance and leisure study courses at A&T. The Corbett Sports Center is the current home of the North Carolina A&T men and women's basketball teams and the swimming team. This has been a historical minute, and I am William Robbs. The 
This Friday, basketball tips off in Corbett Sports Center. The women will be playing against Navy at 6, followed by the men's team at 8 as they play against Greensboro College. Make sure to come out and support your Aggies for their first game of the year. North Carolina A&T bowling team opened their MEAC schedule at home this past weekend. 13th ranked A&T went 3-1 in their first MEAC meet. The ladies faced their only loss against reigning MEAC Southern Division champ Norfolk State in a tough 886-810 setback. A&T will travel to the Hawk Classic hosted by seven-time MEAC champion University of Maryland at East Shore beginning Friday, November 14th. That's all we have for this episode of the Aggie Sports Report. Make sure to follow us on our social media pages. Thank you for watching.